Now, the neat thing about having a 8K camera is uh, you can film on 8K. I'm going to put up my coffee cup. I'm using the uh, built-in uh, camera sound. Let me put this up. Make it as neat as possible. There's my new mic. Took out the nano. But, I'm trying to clean up before I show you everything. Studio 64. So I'm going to be uh, turning on the ceiling fan, which you probably can't see. Yeah, you can't see it, but that helps for the cooling in this room, which stays pretty warm. Um, it's pretty good with the natural light. I haven't turned on any lights yet, but there are some dark areas. So if I turn on the light, that's a little bit better. And then I'll just start turning on lights. This is how I set up my system. First light. Second light. Third light. Okay, and I had the turntable here, but this is kind of like the product review table. The problem is, I might bring this a little bit lower, but I don't want to because when I'm watching TV, the camera will be blocking part of the uh, my uh, screen. So I'm debating if I should turn it this way or not, but I, I think it's too hot, okay? And when I'm reaching over, I tend to be blocking the light. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I guess you did. So, if I bring it a little bit lower, like right here, or, you know, something a little bit lower, I could bring it from this position and show it, but then it would be viewing over here. I would have to move the tripod and the cables and stuff. That's why it's difficult. Now I could try to what adjust it around, but then it'd be pulling on the cable. So it, it's a nightmare. It took me a while to get it to this position, but the more I like look at it, this is a little bit too tall. So if if I had it down to here, okay, then I would be over the camera not showing my bald head on the product that I'm trying to show you. So, you have to think out of the box, figure out what you can do. But anyway, uh, that's that. Let's see if I just scroll around. So you see the 55 uh, inch, which is connected to my uh, 2018 Intel Mac Mini. It has 64 gigs of memory, and it has Sonoma on it. My iMac 2017 5K cannot upgrade to it, and that has 64 gigabytes. So, this is still great for watching uh, YouTube, so is the iMac. I have put cameras and eCam on there, and they work pretty good. But basically, I just have two studios now with the cameras. So this is my Studio 32, and I'm going to turn on this light. I don't know if it matters. But I'm going to turn down this light. So the place is pretty well lighted, and as you can see, it's going around. So. If I start a studio, 
let's say the 32, I would take these off and then start turn that on, the CV10 on, the A7C on, this on, this is already on, but uh, this is a boom arm from Elgato. I use it for a product review table here. And I have a camera right down here for uh, my puppy cam. And uh, she's coming in here. She hears me talking. So she's kind of interested. All right, what are you doing now? Huh? One says, what are you doing now? Huh? You're so cute. Yeah, you're so cute. She says, I like being petted. Yeah. Okay, let's put you down. I think she's in a little bit too much weight. So anyway, that, that's the procedure. And then you um, turn on Ecamm Live. But that's Studio 32. And this is with uh, M1 Max Max Studio. And I have the, uh, uh, I think it's the 27-inch uh, Apple display. So uh, that's a great monitor. This is a great TV, the S95B, it's a 4K, that's a 5K. Then if you go to the Studio 64, you can see the 4K TV that I've had forever. One of the first ones that came out. It's still running. And then I have the uh, LG Ultrafine 5K right there. So, let me show you how I set this up. This is the, one of the ZFs that I own, okay? But it, it seems to overheat a little bit faster than my Z62, Z5, okay? A, uh, the ZFC, I never had any problem. I used to have the Z30, but I would have to have the ceiling fan on, and if you notice, I got an air conditioning vent up here. Let me show you. Uh, well, you can't see it, but and I'll have to stop the video. Okay, so what I've learned is uh, in dead spots like the ZF, a thermometer will come up and. You know, you'll see a thermometer, yellow, and then it'll turn red, whatever, and then you'll see bars going to the right, and I think there's 10 little bars, and then 10 is overheating. Well, I've never seen it go that far, because I put a fan on it. So I've used this fan right here, and what I like about it is it has multi-angles, and it's nice and quiet. And then it gets louder, okay? But you want something quiet to keep the fan cool. So you heard the noise from this small fan. Now I got it on low. I have done some videos, you know, with the studio. You can't hear the fan. But with that being on, the camera stays cool. Now, with the Z30, I took it off uh, where it was mounted with the Z, you know, ZFC. And I have to have the ceiling fan on, and the air conditioning vent is right here too, but it's flowing that way. Guess, but with the air circulation, it kept it from overheating. If I don't turn on the fan, even if it's cool in here, it overheated. So I had enough of that. I took that off. And I put the other ZFC on here, and I kind of took out all the uh, 
Nikon cameras for the Studio 32 and just put all Sony. And since I have two of these, I have a, a backpack with the APS-C lenses with the other uh, ZF, or ZFC and the uh, Z30. And I can compare them both. So it's like a backup to each. Okay, and one has a viewfinder, the other one doesn't. But it has great video and no record time limit like this one does with 30 minutes. So I'll use the uh, Z30 for video and I'll use the uh, ZFC for uh, pictures. But you can use the Z30 for pictures too. But sometimes it's too bright, I'd rather have the viewfinder. But that's a secret. You got to have air circulation. This is the warmest room in the house. And you know, with the computers and stuff like that, I had to take my Windows computer out because it overheated. I mean, the heat from that computer, the processor and the uh, video stayed cool, but it heated up the whole room. So anyway, I'm showing you the process of turning on the cameras. So I can go from left to right. That's the ZF, and I'm sorry, I should have gone a little bit more over here. I forget doing that. So, turn on the ZF, the fan is going, I got all the lights on. Now the Z62, Z5, and I usually have this table out to show some stuff. So I have a light source here, I have a light source there, I have a light source here, keep this bright. And then I turn on the ZFC last, and there's the product review table on top. So with this 28 millimeter, I got the uh, lens hood on it, which is a clip on, and I got two of those, they're metal, and they're excellent. You just Use a little knob, you can twist it a little bit to uh, get it secure. But uh, it's an excellent lens, it, it removes a lot of the flaring. But it, that's how I do it. And then I just, uh, you know, I have the video already loaded on the computer. I just use the uh, Ecamm Live Pro to edit the video. It compresses the file at the same time, and so like a 30 gigabyte file goes into like a four and a half gigabyte file at 10 bit H265, and then I just send it up. So, this is just a quick video in 8K to show you how everything is set up. So, uh, from now. I'll just say uh, thank you for watching. Remember to uh, stay safe. Keep smiling. Things do get better. Glad that you're uh, watching this with me. I hope this helps. It's just some hints that I do to get the system going. And uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, folks.